trade between Vietnam and China is booming. But while improved infrastructure and rapid economic growth have boosted commerce, they have also boosted smuggling. I've come here to the prosperous city of Mong Kai, on the border with China's Guangxi province, to find out about the true nature of trade with China, both legal and illegal. All along the river behind me are a number of official and unofficial border crossing points where boats are coming and going from China every few minutes, laden with all sorts of produce. But besides the legitimate trade that's going on here, international diplomats and NGOs say this is a key point for smuggling. They say there are large shipments of trafficked wildlife, trafficked people and drugs transiting through Mong Kai and they don't think the government is doing enough to combat this situation. Well, we are very concerned about the lax border control in Mong Kai. Uh, the illicit trade of goods, especially um, e-waste, is openly displayed in Mong Kai. Uh, this represents certainly a reason for, for concern for two reasons. The first one is that uh, Mong Kai is an important international trade uh, getaway that channels every day uh, a huge amount of uh, goods and people due also to its proximity to an important uh, international port such as the, uh, the port of iPhone. Without proper control at the border, a uh, criminal group can profit significantly from the smuggling of drugs, people, timber, wildlife and other goods. The second reason for concern for us is that um, the fight to improve border security uh, and legality is an important one. And we cannot afford to have hotspots where the rule of law is not duly enforced. At the main Bakluan border bridge, traffic is surprisingly sparse. Foreign currency trader Tram Ti Tring knows why there is so little going on behind her at what is officially one of the busiest crossings on the long Vietnam-China border. Ở các vùng biên giới, cửa khẩu vùng biên giới thì hàng lậu thì ít nhiều là đều phải có rồi. Làm sao tránh được hết khi đi hàng lậu? The vast majority of trade in Mong Kai takes place anywhere else but at the official Bac Luan Bridge. Just a few hundred metres away, at the unauthorised Vang Lê crossing, boats come and go from China every few minutes. This speeded up footage, passed to the FT by anti-smuggling campaigners in China, shows a typical afternoon's trade at Vang Lê. No customs clearance or other checks are visible. Kilometre 1 is another similar unofficial crossing point. When the FT tried to walk there, a border guard refused to let us through, but we saw motorbikes and trucks laden with goods driving away. From the deserted revolving restaurant atop the 24-storey Vietnam Rubber Group Hotel, we were able to observe a busy afternoon's trade there as well. Several kilometres down river, at the Luk Lum container port, trade takes on far greater proportions. This is an official customs clearance point but there are big question marks over the cargoes being transported here. Foreign embassy officials and campaigners have observed tons of electronic waste, including old computer screens, being unloaded here for export to China. This is in clear violation of international regulations on the transport of such hazardous waste. When the FT tried to film, we were swiftly moved on by border guards, but we were able to secretly take some footage which shows the extent of the trade here. Local government officials say they are powerless to stop smugglers concealing contraband, but the illegal trade in electronic waste is carried out in plain sight at Luk Lum. International organisations and Western diplomats are concerned that smuggling hotspots such as Mong Kai will boost organised crime groups while endangering the environment, security and health. They want the Vietnamese and Chinese governments to make serious efforts to tackle the issue. But, with fears over the extent of official collusion and corruption, this will not be an easy problem to solve. Ben Bland, Financial Times, Mong Kai.